Hello everybody and welcome to back to the Silicon Nubian YouTube channel where we do all things tech. Uh, continuing on our series of uh, Linux distribution reviews and overviews, today we have on the test bench Sparky Linux. Sparky Linux has been around for a while now and it's based on Debian, more specifically Debian Unstable. Uh, to differentiate itself from the Linux crowd, which is quite uh, a large one, uh, Sparky Linux uh, make a claim that their Linux is very low on system resource requirements and it's a great uh, system for reinvigorating those older PCs. How many of us have older Pentium 4s or Core 2 Duo or whatever laptops uh, or desktops sitting uh, relegated to a corner of the room or even a closet gathering dust? Uh, not necessarily uh, fast enough to run modern operating systems like Windows 8, uh, Windows 10, or even some of the more beefier Linux uh, distributions, but still very capable and hardware is still in good condition. Well, Sparky Linux aims to bring those machines back to life, and for the most part, it does it very well. So let's get started, shall we? Uh, as usual with all our reviews, uh, post install we did do a system update to make sure that at the time of this uh, video uh, that the system was running on the most current software here's the default desktop post install very spartan very clean uh, we're fans of that here at, uh, at uh, Silicon Nubian and on the right we see a little display here with all the system information we have disk usage uh, right now we can see that the kernel uh, that Sparky Linux is running on top of is 4.1.0-1 AMD64 uh, fairly current uh, we see the memory being used is only 11 percent given that we have uh, two gigs of RAM allocated to this machine we can pretty much say that it's running very light on system resources in terms of memory at least where uh, out of two gigs if only about 10 or 11 percent used that's approximately 200 megs that's low that's uh, that's that's actually impressive for a modern day Linux distribution, which is full featured by the way. Uh, CPU is pegged at zero, and down we can see what's using CPU. There's really nothing stressing, and of course we're just looking at a bare desktop. Uh, at the bottom right side, we have a group of icons here. We have one for power. We have lock screen, clock, Bluetooth, network. We have a clipboard manager which uh, I pretty much install on all my uh, Linux boxes as well as my Windows boxes I'm happy that it's installed here I think this is Parslite I'm not sure uh, that's my uh, clipboard manager of uh, choice you have the CPU uh, display here and here we have the volume control moving to the left side we see that Sparky Linux by default post install has dual desktops enabled this is great in particular for those who have a single monitor uh, unlike uh, others who may have dual monitors but it's uh, it's good you get busy a lot of things happening you can uh, keep uh, two you have one main desktop and a virtual desktop to keep things well organized here we have the uh, system upgrade tool for uh, checking the repositories uh, it's basically a script that runs app distribution upgrade in the background uh, here we have the icon for um, to uh, basically just show the desktop icon and here we have the application menu so let's get started but prior to that I'll show you what happens when you right click on the desktop it's a very simple menu as opposed to some other Linux distributions we've seen recently we have desktop preferences desktop preferences we have uh, which icons to show um, as you can see it's all done in real time which we're a big fan of here at uh, Silicon Nubian no need to waste time with applying OK there we have right away with the file manager it uses a uh, PC man FM version 1.2.3 a very capable if quite simple file manager network and whatnot and it's uh, somewhat configurable course we have the trash we can empty the trash do a lot of different things and we'll go to the file menu start with accessories um, much like other uh, distributions which call themselves lightweight antics comes to mind uh, lightweight does not mean that you don't have a good selection of software um, 
a lot of software is included with Sparky Linux. Uh, file search uh, for uh, composite manager settings here. Com composition is in enabled by default. Uh, Conkey manager. We have, um, I'll get to the Debian menu a little later, eraser, calculator, leaf pad, parse light, yes, it's the um, one I was telling you about, the uh, clipboard manager, and that's the one that's included. Um, and we have other ones, screenshot, uh, USB stick formatter, image writer, we'll just skip to education, LibreOffice math, which would mean that LibreOffice hopefully is fully installed. Games we have play on Linux. Uh, this has been included in a few distributions that we've checked uh, most recently in Mac or Linux and definitely in Zorin OS uh, allows you to install and enjoy uh, Windows games, games that are designed to be run on the Windows platform in Linux. Not every game uh, can be done, but they're constantly updating their database uh, of, of supported games. Graphics, we have a webcam viewer, document viewer, image magic appears twice well that's not our doing that's just something that's there LibreOffice draw again simple scan internet uh, ice weasel is the default web browser and ice dove is the default mail news reader but as you can see if those aren't what you desire installing other software is quite simple uh, Lefira, we have a pigeon transmission um, office of course we have LibreOffice, and yet we still have install Office Suite icon. Interesting. Um, sound and video, Exhale. This is a nice little tool. It's basically a front end to a script that will go out and install all the proprietary third party codecs necessary to view uh, multimedia content such as MP3s, uh, Flash Media, MP4s, MPEG, and whatnot. And it'll just go out and get all these plugins and install it for you, uh, which again uh, we like very much. In particular, if you've uh, if you try a lot of different Linux or you just come to Linux, you're not very well versed in it. Uh, little things like that go a long way in easing your transition uh, into Linux. And record my desktop, a desktop recording software. This is another trend we've seen in the last. Uh, number of distributions where they include that functionality which you like XF burn which is a uh, disk burning software system tools uh, tons we have the about sparky Linux which is good it'll tell you what uh, basically everything that you see on the right here it'll tell you everything what user groups are available a lot of different things good to have um, we have uh, custom startup services disk management disk usage file manager Oh, there's a lot. LX Terminal, Midnight Commander, which is my favorite um, file manager for the command line. I uh, always install Midnight Commander, or MC as I like to call it, uh, on all my Linux distributions. Uh, reporting. Uh, then we get down to a few uh, applications that they include by default. Uh, in Sparky Linux. These are Sparky Linux specific tools that they've created and they're basically just front ends to a lot of other tools. This one is a, a tool to help you uh, deal with the installation of uh, an un uninstallation of, of applications as well as uh, dealing with distribution upgrades, safely upgrade the system, fully upgrade the system, uh, remove non-free packages like those codecs I was telling you about or um, or packages that uh, well non-free if you know Linux you know what that means uh, remove all dead packages uh, let's edit your repositories it's all here again excellent uh, for its inclusion and then we have Sparky Center which is uh, a settings center uh, that you see in other Linux distributions, they have, the developers of Sparky Linux have created their own, which is a front end to all these tools uh, in a GUI format to make things a lot easier. Uh, we have different settings for parents, uh, default settings, preferred applications, Java, whatnot, uh, disk, all dealing with storage, uh, hardware if you want to add a printer, for example, it's there, Bluetooth manager, sound mixer, software. 
again it'll open back up that menu we just saw before with this one system upgrades wine which is a wine is not an emulator once again included in sparky linux allowing you to uh, run certain windows applications on a linux desktop applications that were designed for um, windows platform we have system a lot of different stuff a firewall is included with the firewall configuration right here uh, system admin is root i don't see an antivirus but that's not a it's not a big thing for me under the linux desktop users others we have adobe flash player of course um, uh, catfish iced tea we have a lot of different things i really i really like that and it makes um the usability of the system out of the box uh, a lot more turnkey uh, universal access of course wine config since wine's installed and then we have all the preferences that we see in the sparky center to begin with let's go to another menu here that i find uh, here's Debian. These are applications strictly from a Debian standpoint. Um, all open source, of course. And this is where clocks, toys, help, screen. I see this uh, the Debian menu in a lot of these Debian based distributions. Um, and this is where I have one negative thing to say about Sparky Linux. It's in some people's eyes it may be a little too cluttered when it comes to the amount of applications included it's diametrically opposed to for example elementary OS which comes with next to nothing but is beautifully presented and you build it from scratch uh, it even has more applications than Makulu and Makulu does ship with a number of applications but I find that Sparky sometimes includes things um, that do the same thing many times. Uh, you have uh, Xedit, Nano, LeafPad. When I go to accessories, I have LeafPad again. I have. I know there's many ways to get to one thing. Uh, my only negative thing I'd have to say about Sparky, because I, I've considered it a very positive experience, was that. Uh, even for the new user, new user, it might be a little overwhelming with respect to how many applications are there, and it's a little cluttered in that regard. And the uh, the menu could be a little bit better thought out. Um, but other than that, it's quite good. I have very little negative to say about it. All the tools seem to work fine. Uh, you'll see right here, install all of install packages from repository. And here it's updating the repositories so that you have a, a, a good list of, um, an up to date list of what's available. And here we have quickly install software from the Sparky and third party repositories things are pretty easy to deal with uh, installing software is not as straightforward as let's say um, using the software center on the Debian based uh, distributions but it's quite simple um, what I um, recommend Sparky Linux to someone who's brand new into Linux I'm not sure uh, I think that after a certain amount of setup if I put the icons on the desktop uh, to make their lives a little bit easier, which are which is quite simple to do. I just put Ice Weasel and tell them this is what does what. I I think uh, it's, it's it'll be a very good experience. Does Sparky Linux bring to life older machines? Oh, most definitely. It's a very light running operating system. It's very quick, very responsive. It is based on Debian Unstable, so you have uh, up-to-date packages, um, but it's still pretty stable and it runs very well so all in all I would give Sparky a a um, take a look I'll call it I'm gonna have to in the future uh, come out with a, a more standardized rating system but our time with Sparky Linux has been a good one and uh, we definitely uh, would recommend that people take a look at it 
Uh, I love finding these distributions that are not necessarily in the top 20 or so on DistroWatch, for example, and kicking their tires. And many times, like we've seen with Makulu, it's, it's just a diamond just waiting to be discovered by people. Um, Sparky Linux didn't give me the, as much of that tingly kind of, wow, this is incredible feeling. But in terms of a Linux distribution that I would install on older computers, uh, for someone who is moderately good at uh, computers, I would say definitely Sparky Linux would be um, on my short list, most definitely. So that being said, uh, we want to thank you for watching this quick video of Sparky Linux. Uh, we do want to tell you that we will be uh, uh, producing uh, more hardware-based videos as well. We have one coming up uh, very soon. Uh, to get the channel a little bit more diversified in the type of videos that we do produce. And uh, if you like what we've put, give us a thumbs up. And please, uh, if you uh, so feel, uh, be uh, you're more than welcome to subscribe to our channel and help us to grow. Thanks again, and uh, see you in the next video.